Factory Striders are the largest and most resilient automaton unit type currently in the game, and these massive units can spawn large groups of Devastators while also being very deadly themselves, carrying two minigun turrets right underneath their chest area, as well as a small cannon turret that sits on top of them, shooting anything on sight. And yesterday, Arrowhead added a new automaton mission type that asks of us to kill off one or multiple different factory striders, which until yesterday, I had only seen about two of these giant machines. In today's video, we'll talk about the new mission type, understanding how the factory striders work, and at the end of the video, talk about the best methods to defeat these big units, even if you're at low levels. I would have made this video yesterday had I known this was out, but in classic Arrowhead fashion, this mission type was added silently without it being mentioned in the patch notes of yesterday's update, which was supposedly just a small hotfix update that fixed up a couple of small bugs and crashes. But anyways, the new Eliminate Factory Strider mission does not show up at every difficulty range, just like the other Eliminate missions that we have in Helldivers 2, such as the Eliminate Brute Commander mission type, which is found at very low difficulties of 2 and 3 from my understanding, also the Eliminate Chargers, Eliminate Bile Titans, etc. You get the point. And just like the Eliminate Bile Titan missions, these do seem to share a similar range of difficulties where these missions type will show up, and from my research, you will encounter the eliminate factory strider missions in the mid range of difficulties from four to six or in other words in the hard difficulty the challenging difficulty as well as the extreme difficulty the higher the difficulty the more factory striders you will be required to kill in difficulty four you're looking at a single factory strider kill Whereas for difficulty 5 and 6, you're asked to get rid of two of these horrifying machines. However, we can make these machines feel a bit less scary once we learn which methods are most effective at getting rid of them, so let's talk about the best ways to deal with the Factory Striders in Helldivers 2. But first to do that, let's understand how these Factory Striders work. The Factory Strider is the biggest unit on the Automaton side, which can spawn large groups of Devastators every few seconds, just like we mentioned earlier, being quite possibly the most dangerous enemy type to leave alive while going up against the automaton. The factory striders are equipped with a cannon on its top side and it's one of its two ways it will actively try to kill you. These cannons are far less deadly than its other means of killing you, however can be quite a pain in the ass if left alive. These cannons are fairly armored but will die to two shots from either the expendable anti-tanks, the recoilless rifles or the quasar cannon. There are various other tools that can get rid of these cannons such as the rail cannon strike, an orbital strike, strike or even landing on top of it However, these cannons are not the premise of the video, and really, they're not that deadly. So just focusing on dealing with the factory strider will be enough rather than wasting resources trying to put these cannons out of commission. The second and most deadly equipment these large units carry are the double miniguns right underneath its chest area. Thankfully, these miniguns do die fairly quickly to medium armor penetrating weapons such as Scorchers and Jar 5 Dominators, taking only a few handful of shots to be properly destroyed. And realistically, the Scorchers and Dominators are going to be your best weapons to use against the Automatons anyways, so you won't be bad off by equipping them. So if you haven't tried these weapons out yet against the Automatons, now is definitely the time. Of course, these miniguns also die very easily to other equipment such as grenades, auto cannons, quasar cannons, and so on. Although, I wouldn't waste the quasar cannon shots or expendable anti-tank shots just to try to get rid of these miniguns. Just use your primary instead, or an auto cannon. The factory striders also have various vents around their bodies, a few of them on their top side, a few of them around the rest of their body, which can be destroyed more effectively than the rest of its heavy armor. But realistically, this should be sort of a last resort approach if you don't have any other better options, which we will cover here in a second. And yes, you can damage these vents with your primary weapons as well, but once again, I'd only worry about that if you've depleted your options. But it is nice to know you can shoot down these vents if you're out of options, which is something you're not really given when you're playing against the Bile Titan. If you're out of stratagems or support weapons to deal with the Bile Titans, then all you've got left is running or hitting them with your hell pod. Now, let's take a look at how to deal with these menacing looking machines. We will not be going over every way you can deal with these large units, as there are realistically dozens and dozens of ways you can deal with them, 
with various different support weapons and stratagems. In this video, we'll only cover the most effective ways to deal with them, so if I don't mention a certain method to clear them out, then it's likely because we just don't consider an effective way to handle them. If you'd like to see a more thorough testing with all of the support weapons, check out the Oldo YouTube channel that does just that. One huge important weak spot of the factory strider is going to be its underside on what would be its belly. This underside is going to be very weak to armor penetrating weapons, such as only about a full magazine or so of auto cannon shots, slightly over a full magazine of the anti-material rifle, as well as only two expendable anti-tank shots is also enough to finish off these large units. However, as we know, this isn't going to be practical. Yeah, its underside is indeed its weakness. However, in a real game, getting underneath a factory strider is going to be extremely dangerous. In a real game, we'll be having this massive unit plus several devastators, striders, hulks, maybe even other factory striders. And trying to position ourselves underneath these beasts will probably cost our lives multiple times. Even in my testing, playing at only difficulty 4, I found it to be very difficult to position myself underneath this unit. Imagine trying to do this on a difficulty 7 or above. In group play, especially, when there is lots of more units surrounding this area. So it's a good idea to keep in mind that its underside is indeed its weakest spot, dying the fastest to any armor penetrating weapon. However, what about ways where we don't have to expose ourselves this hard to deal with them. One way to effectively deal with the factory strider is going to be by utilizing the orbital laser. I've seen users going around saying that the orbital laser can indeed kill the factory strider in one go, but in all of my experiments that did not ring true, as the orbital laser would indeed damage it very much so, but it wouldn't quite get rid of it in one go. Chances are, the orbital laser will manage to get rid of these units in one go, if its laser is constantly beaming its vents or joints, but that's not going to be a very reliable way to go on about this. I did, however, find that you can finish off these striders with ease after the orbital laser has run its course with orbital precision strikes and even a rail cannon strike with a grenade. This way, you don't have to expose yourself that much, but there are still better ways to go on about this. Now for the upcoming method, you can effectively deal with a factory strider without even being seen by the big fella. However, it will have a fair degree of RNG. This is by using the 380 mm barrage. The barrage has an incredibly large radius, which can be reduced by upgrading it on the ship module and be made much more effective, which I don't have by the way for this testing. However, even with its large radius, we're looking at only two clean shots at the factory strider to bring it down, making it quite possibly the best way to deal with these units, never even having to show up to the fight. A few Helldivers claim that with the upgrade, they managed to kill even multiple factory striders in one go, as this extremely powerful barrage gets rid of them extremely quickly. If you don't have the upgrade, however, I do recommend bringing in another stratagem that can effectively damage it just to finish the job. Just remember to stay away from rail cannon strikes and 500 kilo bombs, as these have proven to be very poor choices against the factory striders. Up next, we've got the Eagle Airstrikes. Yep, you've heard me, the Eagle Airstrikes. You unlock these at only level 2 and they're going to be one of the best ways to deal with factory striders. No, not the 500 kilos, actually the Ego Airstrikes. Pretty crazy, right? Due to the massive size of these units, Ego Airstrikes are effective at hitting multiple rockets on it, being able to take down these units with only one airstrike. Personally, I didn't pull that off in my testing as I played solo. Now you may wonder, why does that really matter? To do maximum damage with the Eagle Airstrike, you'll want the Factory Strider to be perpendicular to you. The reason for that is the Eagle Airstrikes strike perpendicular to your initial throw position. And in solo, they're always turned to you, so it didn't help much. A well-placed Eagle Airstrike has been said that it can get rid of these big guys in one go, and I definitely don't doubt it, as in my testing, I've got rid of these big guys either with two or three Eagle Airstrikes even when they miss the vast majority of the rockets. So it's actually pretty forgiven. However, in my opinion, the most effective consistent way to deal with these big units is going to be the auto cannon. Yep. You'd imagine large bombs and explosions would be these big fellas weak spot, but actually 
the Auto Cannon, which are already by far the best support weapon to bring in automaton games, become even more so the best weapon, as it can take down these big guys extremely fast. The Auto Cannon was already an S tier support weapon for automatons, now it just went into SSS rank because this is just insane. The Auto Cannon's 1 to 2 hit both of the miniguns underneath the factory striders, and it can get rid of factory striders with less than a full magazine just by shooting 7 or so shots in its underside. But most importantly, you can just shoot it in its damn face. This will just take about a magazine and a half worth of shots if you focus on hitting its red eye on its face, and it may sound like a lot of shots, but the best part about this is that you can just kite the big guy down as you lay down fire in its face, and you'll get rid of it in no time. If you're bringing in Eagle Airstrikes, you can use those safely, and if you don't manage to pull off the kill, you can just finish it off with the auto cannon. And these units will feel far more easy to you and your team. There are a few other ways to deal with the factory striders that are far more situational, which is why I didn't include it in this list, but they're definitely worth mentioning as if you do find yourself in these situations, you can get rid of them fairly safe. First, you can just keep landing on their back, a few help pods and you'll get rid of these guys very easily. You can also prone on their top side and shoot the vents that keep popping up and eventually you will be able to bring them down. Do be careful because the turret's cannon can actually push you off of it. And speaking on the turret's cannon, you can make its own turret kill itself. Although, it's likely going to cost your life, I just figured it's worth mentioning. And while you're still up here, you can also call blue stratagems, or that is, stratagems such as support weapon call down, turret call downs, and resupplies, as these will do heavy amount of damage when they land on these units back. And last but not least, the most situational of all, but still the best way in the entire game to get rid of factory striders is of course the hell bombs laying around the map. Just one measly hell bomb, even if not that close to it, will get rid of it in one explosion. So if you have one of those near a factory strider, then it's going to be a free kill for you. So that's gonna be all for today's video. Hopefully that'll help out you Helldivers lay down that democracy a little bit better. And a big thanks for all of your support. I'll catch you legends on the next one. Peace.